So one of the main focuses of policy has to be the health of the family. So you see here, a marriage consists of a corporation between a man and a woman for the purpose of reciprocal friendship, affection, sex, care, economic discounts from a shared household, the production of generations of offspring, and insurance against the vicissitudes of nature. The polity ensures and shall ensure these marriages by priority in commons and insurance from non-interference in exchange for prevention of the moral hazards of single parenthood, orphans, and generations with various fears and traumas who may be untrained in the disciplines, habits, norms, laws, traditions of the polity, all of which impose involuntary and indirect costs upon others. So what this is saying is that single parenthood, especially single motherhood, you look at all the statistics, when a kid grows up without a father in the home, their chances of getting into all sorts of bad results in their life skyrocket. And this imposes involuntary and indirect costs upon the rest of the people in the nation as well. So a huge focus of policy has to be eliminating this form of parasitism, not only, of course, for the sake of the people, but for the sake of the children. So we see here, this top line, look at the top line. Interference in the marriage of others that results in its termination shall create a liability for damages incurred. So in other words, if a man is married to his wife and I go sleep with his wife and break up the marriage, I can be brought into court and have to pay damages for breaking up that marriage because I'm ruining that family's life. I'm ruining the children's life. I'm imposing a cost upon the rest of society by ruining that family. I love this. This is awesome. And then look at these other policies. End all child support and alimony as destructive to family and just destructive in general to society. What we have now is a divorce industrial complex where women are incentivized to end a marriage at the slightest inconvenience because they can and because they get cash and prizes to the point where now many men are saying, I'm just not gonna get married because it's a too big a risk. Anytime the woman wants, she can just up and leave. She gets alimony, she gets money from me. I can hardly ever see my kids and my kids' lives are ruined and my kids grow up in single parent households and we know from the statistics what that does. So what happened was a while back, the court said, we don't wanna try these marriage cases anymore. We just wanna have no fault divorce. Well, that is a disaster. That was a very bad decision. Over 70% of divorces are initiated by women. And of course, there may be some that are legitimate, obviously, if there's actually physical abuse or something like that. But right now, it's just way too easy for a woman to destroy a family for whatever reason. So you restore prenup agreements. You get rid of child support and alimony. You restore fault and divorce. So if there's going to be a divorce, it's not just a woman handing over a piece of paper and that's it. You have to prove that there was some kind of a fault, that there was something bad that was done in court. It makes it much harder to get a divorce. There has to be an actual reason and evidence for that reason, which if there's real abuse, it's not hard in most cases to produce that evidence. But if you're a woman that just wants to up and destroy your family because you're bored with your man and you want a new adventure, or whatever reason, under these policies, it's much, much harder to do that, which is great because if our kids grow up without both parents in the home, we know from the statistics, it is devastating upon them and upon our society. If this doesn't make you jump up and down for joy, I don't know what to tell you. We implement this. Can you imagine our civilization? Can you imagine the health of our families? Can you imagine the health of our society? All right, one more. Let's talk about being able to transfer wealth down through the generations. No taxes, fees, regulations, or other encumbrances shall be imposed upon the transfer of assets between members of a family by one generation in any direction. Inheritance taxes and all their forms shall be prohibited. The right to families to accumulate and transfer wealth in all of its forms between generations shall not be infringed. Oh man, I love this. So these policies, folks, this is just the tip of the iceberg, like I said, but these are some of the most important areas. And as you can see, it's basically a dream for us right-wingers who hate everything that the left and the parasitic elites are doing. This constitution is kryptonite to these scum.